What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Daniel here from the Geek Speak Nation channel and I'm here to bring you my reaction to the teaser trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy 2. So, I put up my videos on Naughty Dog's latest adventures with The Last of Us 2, Uncharted The Lost Legacy. I go to dinner and then I look at my phone and what do I see? Marvel Entertainment has released the official teaser trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, it took me a moment because I was like, wait, didn't they already release one? But no, that was a sneak peek that they released that the people uh, uh, that the people got online. I believe it's not the one that they showed at Comic-Con. I don't know if this is the one they showed at Comic-Con. Probably not. I don't know. But nevertheless, uh, I'm excited. As I've stated previously, I really enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy 2. I mean, one, didn't know anything about the franchise previously or the characters, but went out loving it just like everyone else. So let's watch this trailer and see what direction they're going to go with with the sequel. And then, you know, we can make more you know, speculations about where the characters are going and things like that afterwards. So let's check it out. And here we go. The fate of the universe lies on your shoulders. Now, whatever the budget you do, is up there. Don't push this button. Because that will set off the bomb immediately and we'll all be dead. Now repeat back what I just said. <laughs> I agree. No! <laughs> the button that will kill everyone. Try again. I am Groot. Mm-hmm. I am Groot. Uh-huh. I am Groot. No! <laughs> That's very really great. I love what they did there, right there. Show the title card. Ah! That's like wrestle gun. <laughs> Does anybody have any tape out there? I want to put some tape over the death button. Nobody has any tape. Not a single person has tape. You have an atomic bomb in your bag. If anybody's going to have tape, it's you. I have to do everything. You are wasting a lot of time. <laughs> That's a really bad sign. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Someone, I can feel their feelings. You feel love. Yeah, I guess, yeah, I feel a general unselfish love for just about no. everybody. No, sexual love. No, no, I don't. For her. No. <laughs> she just told everyone <laughs> your deepest, darkest secret. Dude, come on. I think you're overreacting a little bit. You must be so embarrassed. <laughs> do me, do me, do me. <laughs> That was good. That was really good. Um, I enjoyed it. That was, it was really fun. It was fun. I, man, of all the, the crazy world ending things that are always going on, uh, in superhero movies, it's always good to know that, uh, we can still have fun with them. And I think that's the number one thing I got away from this trailer is just, they're not shying away from what people loved about the first one, and that was the adventure and the cast and the way they interacted. And this time, we don't have to wait for them to build up and then get into the kinks and bolts of their relationships. Uh, it's already there, and it's established, and they've been working together for quite some time now, so their interactions are even more fluid. Uh, and kind of the sensibility that we felt towards them at the end of the first movie. So that's, that's really great to see. Uh, Baby Groot. Baby Groot is obviously going to steal the show. Uh, but then again, we haven't seen Kurt Russell as Ego, uh, and I know that's going to be fantastic. And there's so many other great characters that, and uh, actors that have been casted into roles, but man, oh man, Baby Groot looks like a, like a little, like so much fun. I think just from the sense of just like, he's still kind of clueless like Groot was before, but he just has that rebelliousness of a toddler and it's just, it's just hilarious. Um, 
when I, this trailer is a teaser trailer. It just teases you about what you liked about the first movie, the adventure, the fun. What they're holding back on is definitely the feels of where the story is going and how James Gunn has been saying about this is a film about the relationships between fathers and sons, you know, the relationships between children and their fathers. And so, yeah, you know, it's going to touch the feels. I think it definitely hit home when you watch... Um, the first Guardians of the Galaxy and all the things with Star-Lord's mother. It's really powerful and moving stuff, even from the opening. Uh, it's, it's really incredible. Um, so, bringing all of these things together, I, I'm really excited to see how they move forward with the story. Because I think they're doing things right. And they have it right in the sense that they don't have to really worry about the characters or how what situations to put them in. It's just things are going to naturally occur based on the way they've created these characters' interactions. And so I'm excited. <laughs> it was a great trailer. Uh, Drax at the end, that was really funny. But I still think Baby Groot was the, it was the thing that got me the most. Like, I'd... Uh, that's going to be great. That's going to be great. Uh, nevertheless, guys, let me know what you thought of the trailer in the comment sections down below. And as always, guys, if there's any Easter eggs that I may have missed or details, let me know in the comment sections down below. Because, guys, let's have a chitter chatter. Let's have a conversation about what's going on in these films. Because there's going to be a lot to unpack. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. And if you liked my reaction, don't forget to hit that like button. And if this is your first time here, subscribe to become a part of the Geek Nation. Because, guys, it's awesome positive nerdy community that we got going on over here anyways ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching these videos and all the support that you've given me over 1,000 subscribers it's really incredible thank you guys so much i've been daniel and don't forget to get geeky